You can't spend five minutes on YouTube these days and not come across someone doing a prank or practical joke. But they've been around way longer than that, and in today's video, we're looking at the greatest practical joke of the 19th century. The year was 1809, and famed English author Theodore Hook made a bet with a close friend. The friend was the noted architect and writer Samuel Beasley. The bet was that in one week he could make any house in London the most talked about house in the city. The house he ended up choosing was the home of a widow, Mrs. Tottenham, on 54 Berners Street in London, which was the same street that Earl Stanhope and the Bishop of Carlisle and of Chester, among other wealthy and notable individuals, lived. It isn't known why Hook chose Miss Tottenham's house, as he seems to have no connection with the woman, and Hook is known to have never explained his selection. It's entirely possible that it just happened to be a location where the home across the street could be rented, and it was also in a fairly well-to-do part of town, which helped assure that Hook's plan would work. Whatever the case, the event began on the 27th of November, with Hook and Beasley positioned in the home across the street, and at around 5am the fun began. First, a chimney sweep arrived. The problem was that Mrs. Tottenham hadn't requested the services of a sweep. Within a few minutes, 12 more sweeps arrived, and they too were turned away. Next, coal delivery workers began showing up with several large carts packed with coal to be delivered to Mrs. Tottenham. They were also turned away. Following this, a cartload of furniture arrived, then workers showed up bearing a coffin for Mrs. Tottenham. Next came several cake makers attempting to deliver very large custom-made wedding cakes, and then around several chefs arrived attempting to deliver a total of 2,500 raspberry tarts. After that, several doctors, lawyers, gardeners, fishmongers, dentists, grocers, priests, couch makers, carpet manufacturers, wig makers, couch makers, curiosity cleaners, opticians, brewers, and shoemakers among others, arrived. They all came offering their services or bringing very large orders of their wares that were to be delivered to Mrs. Tottenham's address at various times throughout the day. At one point, over one dozen pianos were delivered to her doorstep. After that, six men carrying a huge chamber organ showed up. Eventually, the dignitaries arrived, including the Governor of the Bank of England, the Duke of York, the Archbishop of Canterbury, the Mayor of London, the Lord Chief Justice, several cabinet ministers, and the Chairman of the East India Company. Throughout the day, various parties and delivery people crowded into the area outside of 54 Berners Street. By midday, the streets in that area of London became so crowded that the roads were jammed for several blocks in every direction, with delivery people and onlookers. All the while, Hook and Beasley sat and watched the chaos from across the street. Hook's part in the madness that did indeed become the talk of London was not known until much later, when he eventually confessed it. He did it all by sending out around 4,000 letters to various entities in London ordering various items from the simple to the totally outlandish. He also wrote to several notable individuals, like the Mayor of London, creating tales sufficient to get those people to call on Mrs. Tottenham for that day. Now, what was written in most of those letters to convince those important people to come isn't known, but one of the few that is is the letter to the Mayor of London. Now, once the Mayor of London realized he was the victim of an elaborate practical joke, he went to the police station. At the police station, the Mayor stated that he received a letter supposedly from Mrs. Tottenham explaining that she was at death's door and she requested that the Mayor of London come to her home to bear witness to a disposition that she would give under oath. After the hoax was revealed, the mayor sent out officers into the chaos with the idea of calming the crowds down, who were supposedly on the brink of rioting. There were angry travelers and hundreds of merchants who were infuriated that Mrs. Tottenham would not pay for the often massive orders of their wares they had come to deliver. Some of these products were also completely destroyed by the crowds in the attempted delivery. Along with the damaged goods, several fights broke out throughout the day within the pressing masses. Once the crowds dissipated in the late evening, Hook and Beasley emerged from the house across the street and went home. For successfully making this home the talk of the town within one week of when the bet was placed, Hook reportedly received one single guinea from Beasley. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to see more stuff just like it, make sure you subscribe to our channel. There's a big red subscribe button on the screen now. And if you did like it, please click like below. There's also going to be a couple of other videos on the screen that you might want to check out. Thanks again for watching.